What's up guys, Ryan here. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the top five niches for the upcoming week of May 18th through May 25th. Now, I'm using the Merch Ninja research tool to pull these uh, niches. It's not a requirement to have like a paid research tool to do this stuff. You can obviously just go direct to, well, my preferable way of doing niche research is to go to the Amazon catalog, preferably amazon.com. Although if you're uploading to, you know, the UK or Germany or, you know, obviously know your markets. But for me, I use simple logic, right? If amazon.com is the biggest e-commerce marketplace and I'm going to obviously give that preferential treatment because I'm going to follow the customers wherever they go, I want to be. And I'm using amazon.com's catalog and the Merch Ninja research tool to pull this list of the top five niches of the week. I'm gonna make this a recurring segment. So for the upcoming week, 518 through 525, 2020, I'm gonna show you the top selling t-shirt niches. And before I jump into that real quick, my name is Ryan Hogue. I've sold over $1.6 million on Amazon. There are links in the description if you're interested. I have a free print on demand mini course that walks you through how to crush it on Etsy, selling print on demand products through the Printful integration. I have a free print-on-demand Facebook community that you can check out too if you want to join. We'd love to have you. I publish monthly transparent income reports where you can see my climb from making only five print-on-demand sales in a month to making just under you know 450 and making over $2,000 profit that month. So if you want to see a realistic glimpse into the climb of building a real passive business model like print-on-demand up, check out my income reports or hit the subscribe button. I publish videos every month too. Last but not least, I have a full, ridiculously valuable print-on-demand course. It has over 60 lectures and uh, 10 modules. And it walks you through things like selling print-on-demand on Amazon, Etsy, Redbubble, other marketplaces, how to automate virtually the entire process from design creation, scaling them out, and uploading to different platforms on autopilot. So check that out. Links in the description if you're interested. All right, let's jump into it. Niche number one. And this is according to the Merch Ninja Research Tool again, which by the way, if you're not familiar with that, it's basically the German version of Merch Informer. It's a little bit pricier, but I personally, having used all of them, prefer Merch Ninja. So that's what I used to pull this. And when I look at top BSR shirts right now, as of this recording, this is what's ranking number one, United States State Space Force, Department of the Air Force. So this is getting a lot of... Um, you know, I'm not going to pretend to be an expert in it, but I know this is getting a lot of buzz. I didn't know it was getting a lot of buzz today. I had heard about Space Force months ago when President Trump announced it publicly. Um, you know, prior to it ever rolling off the tongue of a politician, I kind of thought it was one of those like black budget programs. But, you know, if you believe in the uh, the next world war being fought in outer space narrative, you might be interested in the Space Force or you just like outer space in general and it's a cool gift. Now, when you see the next couple niches that I'm going to show you or next couple shirts, it might make a little bit more sense that maybe this is being given as a Father's Day gift. So niche number two rolled right into a Father's Day shirt. Now, I obviously am not trying to recommend to you guys watching this video to sell any apparel with a Star Wars character on it. However, this is a shirt that I wanted to highlight because it's showing like a parody. It's funny. It's obviously Father's Day and it's cross niching with, you know, a big popular recognizable global brand. But keep in mind, it's cross niching with like a cartoon. You know what I mean? And the, the concept of cross niching is really important. It's not just a shirt that says you, you the best dad ever or best dad ever or you the best dad. It's Yoda best dad. You know what I mean? They're finding a way to spin it cross niche. And this is obviously a great way of differentiating yourself. I mean, obviously this one, don't go after this one. Um, but if you can find some way of, well, actually, why don't we just keep rolling? I know, I think the next one is going to be another one. Here we go. Cross niching where you do have the rights. In this case, Donald Trump, a public figure in Amazon merch. Again, if you're not sure if you're allowed to upload a Trump shirt, use my search merch tool. Uh, I have it on my blog for free. I'll put a link in the description of this video. But when you use the search merch tool, it filters out non-Amazon merch listings. This is great for doing product research, but also doing uh, trademark research. If you're not sure if your shirt's going to be allowed on merch, obviously you don't want to get strikes against your account for violating the content policy. 
a great strategy is to evaluate other shirts that are already up on the platform. I you do this all the time. So anyways, here's a great example of cross niching between Father's Day and, you know, political figures, people in the news cycle. In this case, obviously, Donald Trump pretty much dominated the news cycle for the last, you know, what, three and a half years, four years. So here we are. All right, it's been four years, actually, hasn't it? So it says, you are the best father in the history of fathers. All other dads, losers, total disasters. Ask anyone, they all know. Believe me, everyone agrees. Now, if you haven't seen this design, I mean, this design has been done and redone by tens of thousands of people, probably 100,000 times. Everybody's probably made money <laughs> selling something along the lines of this Trump parody. In my, I mean, maybe not, I don't know. But like, I've seen this so many times i've seen people in facebook groups i've seen people you know without knowing who's selling it i've seen it just in search results when i go through merch informer and merch ninja um this is just really popular you can pretty much tailor this to a bunch of different um a bunch of different holidays in this case father's day but obviously like it worked for mother's day it works for valentine it works pretty much all the time guys so let's jump into niche number four all right boom it's not just father's day uh, here we have proud mom of a class of 2020 graduates. So another big thing that's happening and notice these aren't things that are necessarily happening right now. It's still May right now, but again, people are planning for the future. So if we're uploading for father's day, well, the savvy shoppers that want their gifts for father's day ahead of time, they're already buying right now in mid May, which means we should be uploading in like mid April, early April, most likely. And if you're lucky and you have some older designs that have already established themselves and got reviews and all that, then you're in good shape as well. But it never hurts to upload some more, um, you know, 20, like for instance, 20, this said, this literally says 2020 on it. So you weren't selling this shirt last year. Maybe you were, but like realistically things that are time sensitive and sensitive to the news cycle of right now, you can take advantage of. Um, so here, this is a graduation from school niche shirt, but again, cross niched where it's a gift for mom plus graduation. So two big niches there tied together with, you know, I hate the word saturation because I feel like some people get deterred from even attempting to be successful at Amazon merch because of the saturation. But it's like, guys, as long as you're willing to be creative, to differentiate yourself and also just have the understanding that like every shirt you design and upload, they're not all going to sell. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just the reality of it. So but obviously this person, when they made this design and uploaded, they didn't know it was going to do as well as it's doing, but here it is. Niche number five, another graduation shirt. It says eighth grade level complete. Now this is something that you've probably seen before as well, but again, taking something that's time sensitive graduation, we're heading into, you know, May and June where, you know, schools typically wrap up. Obviously things are a little bit different right now due to the Cerveza sickness, but you get where I'm going with this and their cross niching graduation and being a, a school student with gaming and loving gaming. And I mean, come on to I mean, I'm a guy, I don't know. My girlfriend always says, I don't get how guys love gaming as much as they do. But you know, I I'm speaking for me myself and all the guys out there that love to spend way too much time playing video games, especially when you don't have many responsibilities that you get when you're an adult. Uh, when I was in eighth grade, I certainly know I spent way too much time gaming and this shirt would have been very appropriate if someone wanted to gift it to me for graduating from middle school. So that's niche number five out of five. And I went ahead and grabbed a couple of bonus niches that I liked when I was scanning through the Merch Ninja software. So I like this shirt. It says, I graduated. Now I'm like smart and stuff. Notice they didn't use any good like capitalization. Uh, they basically are just kind of making fun of the fact that I graduated. It's kind of for that student that maybe did the minimum in school. They weren't that excited. Maybe they cut class a bunch. I like it just because it's a parody. You know, I, it's the type of shirt that I think personally like resonates with me that I might wear. And this one is another Father's Day shirt. It says, Grandpa knows everything. If he doesn't know, he makes stuff up really fast. And again, it's another like parody funny shirt relevant to Father's Day because it's not just about dads. It's about stepdads. It's about cat dads. It's about grandpas, great grandpas. Keep in mind, the low hanging fruit is a Father's Day shirt that says best dad ever. But if you take that a step further and it's like Yoda best dad ever, right? Cross niching. Now don't do Yoda, obviously just saying that again, but also expand it to best grandpa ever, best great grandpa ever, best stepdad ever, etc. You know, just be thinking along the lines of 
how can I get the most bang for my buck? If I'm going to sit down and spend time designing these shirts, can I scale it out? If I'm going to do it for dad, do it for cat dad, do it for stepdad. You know what I mean? Just keep scaling it out with similar, like, you know, click in into your design, delete the text and writing grandpa, delete dad, writing grandpa. You get two designs out of the same uh, design. So it's good to be thinking that way. And then Merch Ninja has a cool feature where they show us deleted designs. I've highlighted this in past videos and kind of laughed at people that try to get away with silly things. Like after the Super Bowl, there were so many like Kansas City Chiefs and uh, and Kobe Bryant. Like that was around the same time Kobe Bryant passed away. And there were just so many designs that people were just asking to get banned. And I'm sure many people got banned for merch. The reason I'm sharing this is because don't let this be you. Now, when I look at these designs, I don't really see that many that stand out where, where like I know why these were removed. I mean, okay, Men in Black, that's an easy one right there at the bottom. Uh, but the rest of them, I don't necessarily know off the top of my head why they were removed. Um, but keep in mind, like, one of the... If you guys aren't selling on merch yet, by the way, one of the kind of downsides of merch is that you can have a design removed and they won't even necessarily tell you why it was removed. It could have been, like, a violation of your content policy in the description or it could be, like, one word in the, the bullet points it sucks. It is what it is. But each week, I'm just going to show you a glimpse of designs that were recently removed from the catalog. And hopefully we can learn something from it. In this one, I don't really see something to learn from other than like blatantly ripping off Men in Black, you know, popular movie franchise. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Check out Webull if you're interested in learning to invest in the stock market. I'm planning on doing some stock market videos in the near future. If you sign up for Webull, they have a great phone application and desktop version. You get two free stocks just for signing up and depositing. Worth up to $1,400, by the way. So pretty good deal. It's literally free. Hey, guys, and that's it. Thank you for watching this video till the end. If you're not subscribed, all I ask is hit that subscribe button. If you want to be alerted next time I drop a video, hit the little bell icon next to that as well, and Google will email you when I upload videos. And, guys, if I can do it, so can you. Stay persistent. Keep doing research. Keep getting better at designing. Keep uploading. Scale out your designs. Thanks, guys. I'll see you at the next one. Passive Income School is open. Enroll now at ryansmethod.com. Thank you.